just did something <laughs> crazy. Woo! So remember last week when I was uh, talking about the stress of buying a, a new RV or a new to me RV and how it was uh, kind of taking a toll, uh, I had said that I was gonna use the force as a Jedi. I was gonna use the force to find my next RV uh, and I was just gonna let it take over and when I found it, I would know. And so I'm gonna use the force right now. I'm gonna rely on the force to help me figure out what my next rig is. Uh, it'll come up, the universe will show it to me, and I'll feel it, and that's when I'll know it's the right rig for me. It's the only way I can do it. It's the only way a Jedi really would. I turned off the targeting computer, listened to old Obi-Wan in my head, and then bam, she showed up. Now, I apologize for all of the Star Wars metaphors, but admittedly, I'm a little bit of a geek. I digress. Basically though, when I wasn't really looking, the RV found me. In addition to uh, looking at RVs locally, uh, I've been looking for them all over the place online, specifically with RV Trader. So on RV Trader, I set up my parameters, uh, you know, the price point that I wanted to be at and all of that, uh, and started to set up a list. From that list, I would get uh, email updates every day looking at different RVs all across the country. Uh, and that's what I did. I started to monitor that and see and wait, hopefully, to find the right RV for me. So just a few days ago, uh, an RV that I had been watching online had a drastic, drastic price drop. So I said to myself, this is very, very interesting. Could this be the RV for me? So I quickly sent a note back to the dealership. The RV was at a dealership. Uh, gave them the price that I wanted to be at uh, pending an RV inspection and waited. 
they responded quickly and said yes to my deal. So I had to quickly scurry around, try to find an independent inspector, get them out to the dealership uh, so that they can take a look at the RV to tell me whether or not this is even worth it. for the RV inspection uh, to happen. Then I had to wait another couple of days to uh, get the inspection report back. Uh, and with the exception of a couple of minor things, small things that the dealership said they would take care of, we had a deal. So this morning, uh, I got up, took care of everything I needed to do for the bank, got them the information they needed and some of the money. Uh, now I'm running around because I got to find parking. Got a couple of places to look at and I'm taking you with me. Okay, so that's Salmon Bay um, Cafe, a great place to go eat if you ever get a chance to. Behind it, um, there is some storage. I have to check to see what the rate is on there. They do have locked gates, so that could be one option. Okay, so this is the Ferguson uh, terminal storage unit. Um, again, I, I don't know what the full price is here uh, or whether or not they even have space. Uh, this is gated, which is nice. It is closer to where I live and I would have easier access to it. Um, but it looks like it could be a good spot. Okay, so this is the other location that I'm looking at and, um, you know, uh, you may have remembered when I was looking for parking for my um, Winnebago Sights here, aka the Death Star, uh, I looked at this spot uh, as well. Uh, they have security. The one issue was whether or not I could get in, uh, you know, at decent times. Um, so that still might be a little bit of an issue. but. Uh, this again is, is relatively close to me, uh, it looks safe, uh, and there are a couple of different um, RVs here already, so I know uh, it's definitely a possibility. Okay, so a quick update before we go to the last uh, location. Um, I heard from Ferguson Terminal, uh, they didn't have anything uh, right now, but they can put me on the wait list, which is good, uh, because that, uh, a storage location is only 195 bucks a month um, but it could be about two months until i get a spot there so um i'm gonna look at this one other location it's a little bit further out i think it's gonna be a little bit uh less expensive um but we'll see so just got a call back from um superior storage they um said that their rates will be 265 a month um, and, you know, it's not necessarily a bad rate uh, because they also have a security guard there at the location. So that's one of the things you got to think about, 265 a month. I think, you know, as I look to do everything, um, you know, I may do something like that for a little bit and then... Um, you know, when Ferguson Terminal opens up and, and it drops, maybe move the RV to that. I'm 
here at the third spot, it is Seattle um, Water Sports. Um, they handle primarily boats and things like that. They have storage, I'm gonna check it out, see if this could be a possibility as well. So the parking lot or the places where they store the RVs are down the ways a little bit. Um, again, Seattle uh, Water Sports. Uh, we'll check out the, uh, the parking lots just in case. So that's uh, one of their lots. Looks just like a regular kind of car lot. Just picked up some Starbucks. Been running around like crazy. So the best option for me for right now is to either go with the uh, Superior Storage location in Ballard. Uh, and then maybe here uh, in Kenmore at the Seattle Water Sports. Regardless, I'll just use those for a couple of months uh, and then move my RV to Ferguson when a spot opens up there. So that's the plan. Still a lot of work to do. I'm very excited. Uh, now I have to plan the trip to go get my RV. And yep, you're gonna come with me. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then you can always follow me on my website at RVJedi.com. I am so excited. It is almost here. I'm back in an RV and I can't wait to share it with you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.